Hey, what up guys, it's your boy Battle Me with some more Destiny 2 content. Man, I think I just fell back in love with hand cannons. I just picked up the seventh Seraph Officer Revolver. It's a 180 hand cannon and I really love the feel of this bad boy. I actually got it about 30 minutes ago. So to get this weapon, you must upgrade your season pass to 92, and then you can buy it today uh, from the Rasputin Bunker. That's how I got mine. Uh, but also, it may drop as a random drop uh, from Seraph Tower events, uh, and also clearing Rasputin Bunkers once you unlock this weapon. So I am about to give you guys a God Roll Guide for both PvP and PvE, but right before we get into it guys, if you do like great PvP and PvE content, how-to videos, subclass builds, weapon reviews, a little bit of Destiny 2 news and gameplay as well, this is definitely the channel for you, so go ahead and click that sub and notification bell, but if not, you guys watching this is enough for me and I appreciate the support. Alright guys, let's get into it. So here's some stats on this weapon. It has an impact of 78, a range of 35, a stability of 57, a handling of 37. Now it has a reload speed of 54. I'm telling you, you definitely need uh, some reload mods or some gunlets that'll help you out because that's the only thing I really did not like about this weapon was how slow it was to reload. Now it is a 180 rounds per minute and eight in the magazine on the one that I had. So you definitely want to use a backup mag uh, if you can, if possible. All right, so also it has a hidden aim of assist of 68 it has a recoil of 84 which is very good a bounce intensity of 16 and this gun does tend to shoot vertical let's take a look at my seventh serif officer revolver this is a beautiful looking gun mine has hammer forge rifling for increased range also accurized rounds for range now i have ambitious assassin uh overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reload i would rather not have that trait because if you try to put a backup mag on it it's just going to eat your bullets uh, also, I have Vorpal Weapon, increased damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with their super active. I really like that. Now, I have a stability masterwork, which is pretty awesome, and I am using that sprint grip because I love the aim down sight. Now, mine came with this Valkyrie Zero shader, but this is how it looks. Uh, without the shader and it's, it now here's a god roll guide for pvp and anything you see in the red or the gold is good to go but these are just my preference i'm looking for stability reload speed and range so in the first line i'm going to go with corkscrew screw rifling at plus five the range plus five the handling plus five the stability next small bore at plus to seven to range plus seven to stability next chamber compensator at plus ten to stability plus ten to recoil minus five to handling now in line number two I want to go with tactical mag at plus five to stability, plus 10 to magazine, plus 10 to reload speed, three for the price of one. And then lastly, I will go with flared magwell at plus five to stability, plus 15 to reload speed. Now in line number three, you want to go with threat detector. Uh, it increases reload, stability, and handling when enemies are in close proximity. And I think it stacks up times five. Uh, and then in line number four, you want to go with feeding frenzy. Kills with this weapon, increase reload speed, for a short time and vorpal weapon increase damage against bosses vehicles and guardians when their super is active now for your pve god roll anything in gold and blue all of my god rolls just on your preference so we still want to go with corkscrew rifling next we want to add fluted barrel and this is in line one add plus five to stability also plus 15 to handling in line number two uh, we want to go with a pendant mag which add plus 20 to the magazine makes it uh, for higher capacity increased magazine size then we want to go with a uh, tactical mag again and then line number three we want to go with threat detector again but we 
also want to go with Ambitious Assassin. Overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. That'll be very easy to perk that in uh, PVE where you're clearing ads. And then feeding Frenzy in line number four. And then you want to add high impact reserves. Rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. And that's something very good for PVE. I really love that trait right there. All right, guys, I hope that God roll guy did help you out. And it's so funny because my first time playing with this gun, uh, a guy named Mud inboxed me. And he was like, where did you get that weapon? Uh, so I told him I was about to put out a God roll guy. And he told me he was going to sub to the channel. So a shout out to him. All right, guys. And like I said, you do have to get rank 92 on your season pass. And the gun is available today uh, in the Seraph bunker. So go pick it up. And until next time, this your boy, I bet on me saying peace. Hope to see you guardians in the destiny universe let's team up and have some fun you guys enjoy your day